This conference will now be recorded. Can anyone confirm? Yes, sir, you are audible. Yeah, thank you, ma. So, hope everyone have understood yesterday we have been done with certain uh, activities. So, today uh, I'll be just uh, taking you to some of the few of the calculations what we have been done till today. So, in a different formats, I'll be asking you to do it. This is which it is going to be very uh, a simpler way you are going to uh, see it, but you have to use it the concepts whatever we have been learned till today so how you are going to implement it that so i'll just give you a few of the examples and i want you people to answer for it which makes me to get confirmed that whatever you have learned it is going to be useful for you Just give me a minute. I'm just putting the values. Okay, just a moment. Hello. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, so hope the screen is visible to everyone. So can you all see this? I'll just share this on the WhatsApp group also. 
so that you can be able to download it and you can be able to try it and let me know the answer to in this today's session So can anyone confirm me whether you have been received the document? No, sir. Check it out in the WhatsApp group once again, ma. Yes, sir. Yeah. So please download it. So, and tell me what could be the answer for the RM02. So, which is the simpler one. Is that able to get open? Jaishno, are you able to open it? Yes, sir, we are able to open. Okay. So, in that RM02. Okay. So, I'll give a five minutes of time. So, I want the answer to be given in the lakhs value. So take a five minutes, I'll be back.
Daishno, are you trying it? Is that happening? Yes, sir, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it the correct way. Like I took for the soap under first one as because it is for one packet and uh, okay. the number of packets are given. I took yeah. uh, G6, I mean the 16 value into okay. 421 that value. Okay. Because we were supposed to do in lakhs, I multiplied it with lakhs, sir. Again, you multiplied with the lakhs. Uh, but then I was also having a doubt because it's already four lakhs change. I didn't know yeah. what to do. That's fine. That's fine. So, but uh, you tried to give it as one lakh once again, huh? Uh, yes, sir. I tried that the first time. Okay. Okay. So, actually, if I take the value like this, good. Uh, you have tried it in a good way. So, actually, the value what we have it, it is showing it as in the lakhs values only. Right? So it is 67 lakhs 50,000. So whatever you calculated, it is a right. So as we know that whenever we are going to calculate revenue, the formula is it is going to be units sold into sales price. And what you did also, it was a correct. Yes. But I don't want the amount to be shown as a 67,50,000. Instead of that, I wanted a value. Later, it is understood it is the value it is in the form of lakhs. Okay. So, for example, if I am going to show it over here, either I should show it as a 67.5 lakhs. So the number I should get it as 67.5 and it should be understood it is in lakhs. You might be seeing it in the tenders. So the values will be given if you have been observed in the newspapers. So they will be giving it the values. If you have observed that on the top it will be written in the bracket as a, the values are in crores. Values are in uh, thousands or values are in lakhs. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. So this, the simple thing is what we are going to do. It is divided by 10 to the power of how many number of zeros we will be able to see it in a lakh? Five. Five zeros, right? So I'm going to give the power of. So the power of symbol, you can use shift and six. Right? So did you find out that symbol? and give the number of zeros that is five and enter so it is going to show it the values in this way so suppose if you want it with the decimal value sorry yeah so like this is that clear so shall i do it once again shall i repeat it Just know, did you understood how did we got this value? Yes, sir. Yeah. So the same way, I'll just repeat it once again for you all people. So we took this value, that is a sales price, 18 per packet into, we have sold the unit of 156. So whatever the value you are going to get it, it is going to calculate in lakhs. So which I'm going to convert it into a simple unit number. So that is divided by 10 to the power of 5. Okay. So if you want to keep it, 
you can keep it with decimal points. Okay, so the values will be like this. So now I'm going to sum it up. So alt equals select it and drag it. So this was the calculations what we did it for calculating the revenue. So if you have been observed this in the last two, three models when we were doing it with training institute model or it could be Walmart uh, uh, then uh, one more model we did it in that we we were being able to have it as a uh, revenue drivers so that means to calculate the sales before the income statement preparation so we had a, a separate sheet called drivers so that drivers were nothing but which is considered as a revenue drivers or or uh, revenue with cost drivers so how do we arrive the values to calculate the income statement so that calculation purpose we were doing this process so i thought of bringing up uh, to you you can understand how the drivers were being initiated how it was being calculated for that reason i took this example okay so now let me click to the rm01 so here I have a simple values. So try from your end. So I'll give a, a 10 minutes of time. So you can just go through with all these values. And you can let me know that what could be the final value that is annual sugar sales in millions. So whatever I've been asked to do it, the calculations I have already given on the top. So most of the informations are already available over there. So please look into it and try to put it so that you can be able to get it. So this I am going to change it. So it is tons per year. Tons crushed per year.
Okay, uh, so is there any try, Jaishnu? Is there anyone online? Can I expect anyone to respond? Anyone online? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, Jashnu, did you try anything, ma? Sir, I'm not sure of how it's being done, but that's, so because it is calculated per mm -hmm. year, uh -huh. for the first year, uh, the capacity would be 1,000. Okay. For the number of working days would be 20, uh, 240. 240, good. So the capacity utilization would be 80%, right? Um, do we give the value, yeah. that's all, sir? No, it's a percentage. How it has been specified as per the question, you can be able to use it in the same way. Okay, sir. Yeah. The sugar recovery, uh, I mean the cane crushed, um, that I didn't know how to do, sir. Okay, that's fine. Then anything else did you found out? Sir, the and no, that's also okay. That's fine. Ma. So, here, whenever we are having it for one year, yes, so we can calculate it what you are given. It's a fine answer. So, when we have a multiple years, so we have to see that is there any changes year on year, anything we have it related to that each of this component. So, do we have anything of uh, changes in the percentage wise? year to year that it is going to change it so any percentage of increase is expected in the sugar plant Only for capacity the plant. no sir no right so when there is nothing like that then it is going to be the same value for all the years see if that factory the plant itself it is having the maximum capacity of uh, having the sugar so the sugar cane whatever you are going to use it for manufacturing the sugar so if it is having only a capacity of thousand tons then it is only thousand tons 
Okay, so it remains the same. Okay, so it is 1000 tons every year. And number of working days also, it doesn't make any changes. So you can keep the same thing for all the other years. So now here, they are saying that it is going to get increased. So 82, 80% in the year one, 85% in the next year. And in the year three, it is expected 90%. Okay, so only for three years we have it. So we are going to consider whatever it is there in the last year's capacity. So that itself we are going to continue for the other years. So when there is an increase of the percentage, that is the capacity utilization, it has been increased from year to year. So then we can consider it as an average value of the last year itself whatever it is there the same thing you can be able to carry for the other years okay so till now whatever the we values we had it based on that we have been taken over here so now cane is crushed so how the cane is crushed so first we have to see that how much we have it the capacity over there so we have a thousand ton capacity and the number of working days is multiplied with this and the capacity utilization it is up to 80 percent so whatever we had it in that 80 percent of the cane is been uh, crushed so by working 240 days so that means the sugar plant will work only for 240 days okay so this gives you the and how many tons it has been crushed okay so i have to track this for the further years the next the sugar recovery so do we have any information regarding this have a look so do we find it anything related to this recovery percentage it's a nine percent good so this remains the same for all the years okay so now let us consider that so the cane crushed whatever it is crushed on this we can be able to recover only at a nine percent So that is the cane which is crushed on that 9% of the sugar we can be able to expect it. So understood till here ma. Yes sir. Yeah. So the next thing is the sugar price. So what it could be the sugar price? What 
what is the expected sales price of sugar per ton? Two thousand uh, twenty-eight thousand, sir. Twenty-eight thousand, good. So twenty-eight thousand per ton, but if you see that there is an escalation price up to five percent, so this will get increased. The five percent. From year to year. So this could be the values. So now finally, we are supposed to record the values, but it should be in the millions values. That is the unit into millions. It has to calculate. So try how we can be able to do this. So just now we did it. So with that idea, you can try it and let me know. So annual sugar price, so how much production it happens equals to this into the sugar price. So how much we are able to produce, so that into the sugar price is 28,000. So this gives me the value but I want this value to be in the unit value into millions format or the millions value. So what should I do it with this calculations? How do I show it with a simple unit value? It divided by 10 Very to the good. power 6. Very good. As we know that millions is nothing but 10 lakhs. So there is a 6 zeros. So this gives me the unit value. Very good. Control R. Okay. So this is how the calculations will happen when we have a multiple years calculations okay that's very good so I'll give one more a problem so which you are able to see it over there so try to find this so I'll give a time of 15 minutes okay so try to bring up the values in whatever the way you are able to understand with So I'll see with your answers at 740. So till then, please try from your end. So what all the things you have understood with the questions, the available data, and try to solve the problem.
Thank you for being online. So, is that anyone tried this? Can anyone let me know? Is there any chances of doing it? Sir, I 
tried, but I didn't get the growth percentage for any of them. Okay, so no worries of growth percentage. If it is not given, so don't worry of giving it. So, but uh, did you try with the values? Yes, sir. Okay. So, what are the values did you found it, ma'am? Sir, for the sales, it would be the same from 2013. It would be the same. Okay. Actually, here it is going to show it as from 2014 onwards. So let me take the values from the 2014 onwards till 2018. Okay. So the values remain same as you said. Yes. Next. So for the number of stores here beginning, I've mm -hmm. taken the same 64,018 and all that. Okay. So here, should I take it as 864 because 2014 onwards it is there. Is it 1018 I have to take? Yes, sir. 1018, yes. I took it from okay. 2013. Okay. So if you take it as 1018 on the number of stores we are beginning, so what could be the number of stores of year end? Sir, uh, would it be like there's additions during the year also, no, sir? Okay. So, here, actually. I was thinking that uh, the additions would be the difference between the next year and this year. Okay. So, what could be the uh, number of stores year end? What you would have got it? number of stores here and would be uh, the 2015 value 1172 okay okay good so what you thought it was correct but here when you are going to say it is year beginning so the last year's value it is going to be this year's value in the beginning the closing balance of the last year will become the opening balance for this year so what was the last year's closing balance So this is the last year's 2013's closing will become the opening for 2014. Okay. And this will be the that year's end value. Okay. So what you thought it was correct, but so it will come up to 2019 opening year and this will come up to 2018 so instead of me giving it connecting to this so I'll connect it as in this way so the last year's closing will become this year's opening Yeah. So whatever the value we had here, we have it. So now, when I want to calculate this additions during the year, so this it will be equals to, so the number of years beginning, sorry, let me take it. At the year end, what it is there minus what it was there in the starting of the year. So it is 154. That means when you add this both, it should give this value at the end of the year. So what you had in the beginning minus at the end of the year, how much you had it. So that is the difference what you are going to get it over here so i'm not doing it for the next because i didn't have this value okay 
so now what could be the calculation for the next year so before this let me feed up with the till the 2018 years average revenue per store what you are going to earn with it so this it is going to be calculated equals to the sales what you have it divided by so whether i should be able to take it with the opening year balance or year end balance so which could be the better option is it opening years or it is at the end of the years and sir end so generally if there was only with the end so we would have taken this good it was correct but since when we have it both year 1 uh, sorry the opening year as well as the ending year also both when we have the values in such case what we are going to apply it is we are going to take it with average value so we will take the average of opening year comma the end of the year close it so this is going to be the calculation the average revenue per store in the millions okay so this is till 2018 now do we have anything information over here so let us see so let us read out fast was formed in 1990 and since then has grown to become the largest franchise retailer in asia so quality innovation service and trust are the guiding principles for all the fast fashion retail operations since the opening of its first store in the 1991 fast has grown considerably and now trades in more than 2000 stores across 100 shopping malls in 14 countries with a retail platform operating on a total uh, of nearly 66 uh, lakh millions so fast currently represents over 88 fashion brands across a diverse platform covering women's wear men's wear kids and baby so till here it is talking about its history and its achievements so now we have a information that the company aims to reach 3200 stores in the next 5 years and average revenue per store from 2019 onwards it is expected between 1% to 2% so here if you see we have a value on this average revenue per store from the year 2019 so here we are going to calculate with the forecast values so here we are supposed to see that expected growth rate that is 1% to 2%. So this what you can be able to do it is you can be able to calculate it. So 1 plus 2 divided by 2 you can be able to do it whatever the values it is going to take. So we can expect it that it could be either 1% or 2% or in between means 1.5% also we can consider okay so you can be able to take only between these two percentages so expected so when we have the growth rate so in that case uh, it will be easy for us to calculate this average revenue value so can you try just know what could be the values so when we have some percentage to increase so how do we calculate this So the value into open bracket one plus the increased percentage. Yes, good. So the value into open the bracket one plus 
the increased percentage. Good. So we are going to calculate it for the further years. Okay. Sir, so the now, uh, average yeah. revenue for the first year would be 2.7, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, could you show so that one taken, Yeah, I'll repeat it once again. So it will be equals to, we are going to take the sales value divided by, we are taken as average calculation of the year one that is sorry year starting value or number of stores with year ending stores we have taken this as an average so we have got this 2.7 yes sir, thank you okay good so now what could be the next So how do we calculate this additions during the year? So this will be equals to, we are expected that we have to reach 3,200 stores, 3,200 stores in the next five years. So for that, what we are going to do it is, so we are going to consider that 3,200 and Presently, how much do we have it? 2,221. And this is the aim for five years. So whatever the difference you are going to get it, you are going to divide it by five. So it will come to an average value that you are, if you are going to open this 195.8 every year, so this could be a value for all the years. Okay. So let us see equals this into five if you take it. So it is going to be 979, the difference of 3200 minus 2221 okay so this difference we are going to achieve it in five years so we have taken the average value of additions is that clear so now as we know that it is going to be the opening plus the addition will give you the values for the end of the year and this will carry to the next opening year and this is the addition of the opening plus additions okay so now what could be the sales expected? So any idea you can be able to expect it with the sales value? So this it is going to be the calculation of expected revenue per store multiplied with average of your opening balance of that year with the closing balance of number of stores. 
so this is going to be the sales expected for the coming years is that clear to everyone is that clear ma yes sir okay fine i'll be sharing this document with the solution in the whatsapp group so you can follow with this and we'll meet up in the next class tomorrow evening thank you all have a nice time